sometimes a written radiological report or even a digital motion x-ray on a disc isn't enough because not always are the doctors and attorneys or insurance companies familiar with this type of technology. So we have a new program called Video Medical Records which allows us to talk over the digital motion x-ray. We're able to draw lines, count down the bones, and actually pinpoint and show where the ligaments have been injured. It's basically as if I would be in someone's computer talking to them as they're watching the motion x-ray. And it's unbelievable. Here we're going to see Rachel's flexion extension motion x-ray. What I'm going to do is come up, hit the record button of her x-ray image, and square it off right there. That tells me that we're recording this motion x-ray as soon as we push play. So what's going to happen, we have, we're going to see Rachel here in the bottom left hand corner. She's going to bring her chin to her chest and I'm going to freeze that or pause that image. So that's a, that's a static x-ray right there. I'm going to come up here to my drawing tools, the palette, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to count down. So using my keyboard, I'm going to put the numbers, the first, the second, the third vertebrae, the fourth cervical vertebrae, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. That way we know which vertebrae we're looking at. I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to point out two areas that are significant here. One is the level of 4 on 5 and 5 on 6. So our eyes will pinpoint to that. Next I'm going to grab my straight line drawer because what we're looking at here is 4 on 5. 4 has actually dropped anterior to C5. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on George's line. 4 on 5, and then 5 on 6 is even more significant here. So we can see where the stair step here is on 5 on 6. It's less on 4 on 5, but still, that's an indication that we've torn the posterior longitudinal ligament at these two levels. Now we're going to go ahead and continue the movie, and we're going to have Rachel bring her head all the way up into extension all the way, and I'm going to freeze it right there. And again, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to number down the vertebrae so everybody can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see how fast and how easy that is. It's amazing. Now I'm going to go to, the, to draw the arrows real quick. And coincidentally, it's at the same levels. It's 4 and 5, and it's 5 on 6. Only this time, the vertebrae have slid backwards into what's called a retrolisthesis. So that's where the vertebrae have slid back. So I'm going to draw in George's line real quick and real easy. It takes a steady hand. And here we can see where C4 has moved backwards on C5. C5 has moved backwards on C6. And we can go ahead and hit play. And she'll bring her head back into a neutral position there. That completes the, the video. And we're going to go up here and stop this and pause this. We're going to name this Rachel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my keyboard down here. So we're going to go ahead and save this because it is Rachel. And right there and it's going to automatically play up here. Motion x-ray as soon as we push play. 
So what's going to happen, we have, we're going to seat Rachel here in the bottom left hand corner. She's going to bring her chin to her chest. And I'm going to freeze that or pause that image. So that's a, that's a static x-ray right there. I'm going to come up here to my drawing tools, the palette. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to count down. So using my keyboard, I'm going to put the numbers, the first, the second, the third vertebrae, the fourth cervical vertebrae, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. That way we know which vertebrae we're looking at. I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to point out two areas that are significant here. One is the level of four on five and five on six. So our eyes will pinpoint to that. Next I'm going to grab my straight line drawer because what we're looking at here is four on five. Four has actually dropped anterior to C5. So I'm going to go ahead and draw George's line. Four on five and then five on six is even more significant here. So we can see I'm going to go ahead and pause that, but can you see how fast and how easy that is? From this point, this file can be emailed, it can be burned to a disk, it can be uploaded so someone else could retrieve it from a, from a, a storage site.